Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Fog still stubbornly sticking around. Check out visibilities here. Uh, Minot, we've had a lot of fog and uh, visibility down to a mile. Watford City looking at two miles. A bit better up towards Williston, but yeah, you head east out of Minot there. Rugby Harvey looking at some very uh, low visibility. And if you're going east out of Bismarck towards the Jamestown area, they are seeing fog as well. Temperatures looking at 34 right now in Bismarck, 32 in Dickinson. It's just below freezing using for Williston and Minot. These temperatures are really important. 32 in Hedinger, 34 in Linton. Up towards the north temperatures are below freezing. 23 right now in Rolla. Uh, 27 out in Harvey, 33 in Sydney. The reason they're important, as I show the winds here east at 10 miles per hour, is because we have precipitation moving on in from the south. Now here in Williston, we are looking at a temperature of 30 degrees with light east northeast winds at 6 miles per hour. Now here is the fog. So if you're below freezing with fog in your area, you might get a little light glaze of ice. There was some here down in Bismarck last night. Uh, I personally almost uh, tripped, uh, well, slipped and fall, fell, I guess it would be, uh, last night uh, with some of that glaze of ice. It'll, uh, it'll definitely sneak up on you. We do have winter weather advisories back out towards the west, and uh, we're going to be looking at some snow accumulation, some decent snow accumulations here to the southwest, and some possible more frozen precipitation off towards the north. All right, here's the precipitation I was talking about. I uh, was actually getting a few light raindrops here in Bismarck. I, I just checked outside the uh, station here a few minutes ago. Uh, but it is rain because our temperature here is 34 in Bismarck. However, as you saw out towards the west here, some lower temperatures are making this freezing rain. And you can see where the pink is showing up here is where we are seeing a little bit of icing. Let's go ahead and zoom on in Elgin uh, out towards Flasher here, maybe getting a little bit of frozen precipitation. Hedinger, maybe a little bit of freezing rain on out there. So if your temperature is at 32 degrees or just below, that means you could start to see a glaze of ice on pretty much everything. Roads, cars, sidewalks. That's what I found out last night. Anyway, we have a storm system, a strong storm system in the central plains right now. We're just kind of getting a taste of it off to the north. It's affecting everybody's weather across the middle part of the country. Tornado watch, in fact, down in Oklahoma. Uh, surface trough associated with this low pressure, basically a uh, extended area of low pressure is what's creating our precipitation. And precision cast continues to show this area of rain and freezing rain and a little bit of snow moving up through Minot in the early morning hours. Eventually, it all switches over to snow as we do go in towards tomorrow morning. So we will be looking at some accumulations, especially here. You can see to the southwest, Bowman County, out towards Hedinger, New England, Amadon, and even Medora area could get quite a bit of snow by tomorrow. There's our estimation of that snow. You can see further west you go, the better chances you have of getting some accumulating snow. So getting down to 27 degrees here in Bismarck. Uh, right now we're at 34, but as that temperature drops, Again, we're going to be looking at freezing rain, and that uh, is bad. 25 degrees for Minot. We're going to get snow and some ice. It'll be cold with that east wind at about 8 miles per hour. Temperatures tonight getting down into the mid-20s to the east there, lower 30s to the west. And temperatures tomorrow only getting up to 33, so we are not climbing very uh, much tomorrow. But I tell you what, the air above us will actually cool down, so that means all that precipitation will turn over to snow. Best chances for that snow accumulation will be out west. Same with Minot and Williston. Williston, better chance of snow accumulation. Minot, you might, might miss out completely. And then highs tomorrow, so looking at temperatures there in the upper 20s to the east, mid-30s to the west. Go ahead and take a look at that seven-day forecast. Pretty quiet weather pattern, guys, developing after this weekend. In fact, Sunday it'll be dry, and then we'll see mostly dry conditions and through the rest of next week. It will be colder. We'll be slightly below average, but we are going into December, so... I guess it's not the worst thing that oh, could wow. happen. Dry is good. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dave. Stick around for sports.